Yeah. Now this next one that I want to cover, I'd not heard of, and uh, I discovered it from Mahmoud Hashemi, who didn't realize that he had shared it with me, but he had like favorited it on GitHub. I'm like, whoa, wait, that looks cool. What, you know, just that little activity stream of people you follow on GitHub, uh, whatever's happening. So one of the things that I find lacking a lot of times is how you work with databases as sort of an admin side of things, right? Like if you're using Django, there's some kind of admin back end you can sort of point at it. But if you're using like, you know, just SQLite and you don't have some web app to work with it, like how do you work with it? I know there's a command line for working with it. You write DDL, data definition or description language, whatever that is. I don't want to do that. That doesn't sound fun at all to me. <laughs> so what I want is a nice visual thing that is like a history of my most common searches, <clears throat> excuse me, things like that. So there's this thing called Beekeeper Studio. Have you guys heard of this? I have not. No. No, I hadn't either. But if you go to their website, it is super polished. It certainly passes the Michael and Brian test of many screenshots and little animations because, hey, it's a UI thing. And what it is, is it's a really polished, free and open source SQL editor and database manager. And it's it checks so many boxes. It, con- it talks to MySQL, Postgres, SQLite, Microsoft SQL Server. It runs on all the things, Windows, Linux, Mac OS. It has a bunch of cool features like it has built-in support for connecting to your database server over SSH tunnels, which is really nice because you typically don't want to have your database out in, you know, DigitalOcean or wherever. Listen on the internet. That's, you know, that's just asking to be in the headlines of, you know, company X has lost all their data and is now, you know, you now get, everyone gets free credit monitoring for a year. Thanks, right? You don't want that. So you can have like the database locked down, but still SSH over to the server and then just tunnel. But this has like built-in stuff for that. Cool tab interface. It has autocomplete for your SQL queries, which is really nice. So like your table schema. So, you know, you can pull up table name dot and it'll drop down all the columns in like your where clauses or your select clause, which I think is super nice. It has kind of an Excel view where you can just pull up the data in the table and like filter it and sort it by clicking on the columns. So you don't have to be super good at, at knowing that. Um, by default, as a dark theme. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, so you know it's first series programmers. Yeah, this is, it's legit, baby. It is totally legit because it's you, you had me a dark You had me a dark theme for sure. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So there's just a bunch of cool things. Like you can save your most common queries and there's like a favorites queries section on the left that you can just pull up your common queries and like rerun them if you got to do a report or something you always have to ask about like you can run that which i don't know this seems like a really nice tool and i'm telling you it is worth every penny you pay for it (laughs) is it free (laughs) it's free yeah it's free and open source (laughs) but it's nice i i installed it and i connected it some little sqlite toy things projects from my courses that i was working on and it came out great so So, uh, so how do we keep them in business Sounds like we need to keep them in business somehow. <laughs> I know. We don't want this to go away. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's nice. You know, over on GitHub, they've got quite a few stars. It's 1.4 thousand. So it's, it's pretty new. Uh, I'm not sure how long they've been around, but uh, I'm excited to see them here. It's great. Thank you for watching this segment of the Python Bytes podcast. This video was made during the recording of the full episode. Visit pythonbytes.fm and get the whole story. Subscribe to the podcast and get the entire episode delivered to your phone. Please support our work by taking one of the courses at pythonbytes.fm slash courses or learning PyTest with Brian's book at pythonbytes.fm slash PyTest. Finally, visit our sponsor shown on the screen here. Visit the link on the screen and get the special offer for Python Bytes and YouTube listeners. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.